Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of the CSWPA Weldon Exam Prep course. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create and edit custom Weldon profiles and as well as some other features within the Weldon functionality. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be reminded of any future videos of the series. And with that out of the way, let's just jump right into the video. Let's start a new part to make our new profile for Weldment. Every Weldment profile is simply a sketch, so I can start a sketch on whatever plane I want. In this case, let's just choose the top plane. The profile I want here is pretty simple, just a 1 inch by 1 inch square with no fillets, and a wall thickness of 1 eighth of an inch. When we're making the profile, remember that the profile center will be the sketch origin, so keep that in mind when making your own profiles. Once we've fully defined the profile, there's a few things we need to do so that this is seen as a profile by SOLIDWORKS, and then a few more things to do so that you can find it in your structural member property manager. To save the sketch as a profile, we need to save the part as a SOLIDWORKS library feature part. Before we do this, we need to select the sketch in the feature manager design tree so that the file knows what sketch to use and add the weldment profile to. Once we select it, we can go to the save as, go to the drop down menu and select lib feet part, which basically just means library feature part. We need to save it in a special folder structure. The folder the sketch is in will end up being the type selection in the structural member, whereas the folder the type folder is in will be the standard. The folder of all these are stored in is what we will select in the options for a file location, which I'll show soon. Here's an example. I'll save this as 1 by 1 by 1 8 thick. This is the size which is in the folder square extrusion, which is the type. And the type folder is in the ANSI inch custom folder, which is the standard. All of these folders are in the SWL weldments folder, which is what we'll select in the options. So keep the SWL weldments folder in mind. Let's open a new part to show this weldment profile. If we create a simple sketch to create a simple structural member, we can see that in our selections, the new standard ANSI inch custom cannot be found, and thus our weldment profile cannot be found either. We can add in our profile in the options of our SOLIDWORKS. We can go up here to our options, then go to file locations, and then find weldment profiles. We can add in the folder SWL weldments. And now let's go back to our structural member to see what this has done. We can now see that we have a new standard option, ANSI inch custom. Then the type is square extrusions and in size we have our one inch square. Let's apply this to our structural member and voila, our own custom profile. Remember that the type and standard came from the folder names and we need to select the folder above our standard in the file location for it to work. I remember when I first started doing this, I would keep adding the standard folder in the file location instead of the proper folder, which was above it, and I would get really frustrated. So learn from my mistakes and don't do that. If we want to edit our profile, it's as easy as going into our part file and making edits to the sketch. Let's do that really quick and just add some very small fillets to the inside corners of our profile, and then save it when we're done. We can see that if we go back to our weldment part, the profile updated to the new version, as we can see with the new structural members. 
Now maybe you don't like the look of your profile or you don't want something going into your structural member and to fix that we can use an end cap. This is basically a simple volume that's added to the outside of a structural member but it will be seen on the CSWPA Weldman exam so be sure to stick around to see how this works. To add an end cap let's select the end cap button and then let's select what faces we want this to be applied to. We can choose more than one if we want but let's just select the end of this structural member by selecting its face. The end cap can be facing outwards or inwards from the face we selected, or be inset, which means it's inside the structural member. And we can select the dimensions for all of these options. The offset will define how far the end cap is from the side of the structural member profile. We can select a value to offset, or just leave it zero so the end cap sits flush. You can also select a thickness ratio between 0 or 1, which relates the offset to the thickness of the profile. As well, we can have the offset going outwards instead of inwards. And lastly, we can change the corners to either chamfers or fillets, and of course specify the dimension we want for that. I'm trying out some shorter videos so that you don't feel overwhelmed as to all of the content you have to learn in one video. So let me know how you feel about this and let me know if you want to go back to some longer videos or keep the shorter ones. This should allow me to start some more series and be more consistent with my upload schedule. Next week we'll be covering more and possibly the rest of the Weldman features. Again, the CSWPA Weldman exam is quite possibly the easiest one to study for, so stick around and you'll get that certification in no time. Thank you so much for watching episode 2 of the CSWPA Weldman exam prep course. In the next video, we're going to be doing some more Weldman things to get you closer to that exam certification. So, I'll see you in that video.